Greetings, YouTube. We have warped way back into the WGS Arcade, and I know it's been a while since I've done anything on the Xbox One. Uh, let me explain very quickly. Uh, the game you're seeing right now we're about to do is called Quantum Break. Now, when I first got my original copy of it, it wouldn't work. It would not work. It constantly crashed, and I had no idea why. I mean, my, there was nothing wrong with the Xbox. There was nothing wrong with the disc. So I went ahead and GameStop, being the great people they are in, in Bruce or Louisiana, by the way, that's probably one of the best GameStops I've ever been to. Uh, and they, they also know me on a first name basis, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but so they, they went ahead and they exchanged it with another Quantum Break disc, and as you guys can see, of course I wanted to do a test run of it before I actually got started, and it worked. And it worked, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Stick with normal. Yeah, of course I needed to do a test run first before we can even see it. And there's a lot of story to this. Act 1, the number one killer is time. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Scream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. That's right. Oh, come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey. Thanks for the ride. No problem. And now, it, it was always at this point with the original game. Years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. <laughs> Rough night, huh? Oh, it's for, um, I, it's just whatever's done the matter anymore. I'm... He's drunk. I'm, yeah. Yeah, you're drunk. Yeah, but it was always at this point in the game where it I always crashed. Paul. Jack. We just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. On the unit side there. I am so looking forward. Still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Wait, hold on. How do I take off that thing that's on the menu? Oh, okay. Well, it did it. It did it on its own. Thank, thank goodness. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big-ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Babe, can we go home yet? Hey, it's Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you 
That would explain the protest and all the protest signs. I gotta learn to get better control of the camera. Let's see, should I even look at this? Ocean water. Oh, that's from Alan Wake. He's been gone for five years. Dark matter and dark energy constitute over 95% of our universe. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. I think with Alan Wake, if I ever want to try to do a Let's Play of that, I would have to do it with... With the soundtrack muted because it's copyrighted by iTunes. Every story finds its writer. There he is. I wonder why the reason one of the reasons why we're seeing this is possible because the guys behind Alan Waker are the people who made this game. Now, when I bought this game, it came with a free download of Alan Wake, so whenever I get the chance, I'm going to try to get the, get that downloaded and and do a Let's Play event on here, but i got to remind everyone that it'll have to be with with the uh, soundtrack muted. I never saw this. What? All of us have two faces. The one we wear for all to see. And the face that lies beneath in the dark. Wow. That's awesome. What's it doing in a protest tent? That's what I would like to know. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Uh, Go ahead, check out the chart. 
Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. And for what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. All right, now let's head inside. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. Come on. Let's just get to the big show. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Alright, so what is this big project? Well, considering a game has to, uh, something to do with time travel, I would assume time travel. Welcome to Project Promenade. Oh, shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. I don't know if I trust this guy. Jack. You know, asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother. But he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. I wonder if this is how we get to time travel powers.
Let's find what Project Promenade is all about. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled Chronon Conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. So I've got to push the. The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. What's happening? We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. Jack. What? You didn't say zero. Come on, man, we need ground rules. For okay, things. you turn, I'll follow. Close enough. Yeah, I was pushing the wrong button. That was my fault. God damn fault. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time and the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're inside that thing? In the machine, through time. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I and mean, this can't be safe. What happens when- Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Whoa. Paul, <laughs> what? How? It... <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's. There's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... He's... He's me. A future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? 
There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Well, that's impossible. That's that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Jack. Well? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 stop it! Shut up! Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Well, shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. Or what? This is how they get the powers. Not notice everything is frozen. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. Wow. Well, anyway, guys and gals, before we go any further, we're gonna go ahead and call it an episode. And when we come back to the arcade, we're just gonna see what damage has been done to time. So, with that being said, I am your friendly neighbor, Russell Gamer, and I will see you at the next web zone. Bye, guys! Again, I, I would like to know what's so important about these crates. I don't like the guy. I just don't like the guy. I don't see why people want to drool all over this guy. Oh, look at those pets. Is that what I'm going to edit here?